Um, I haven't tried the full throttle shifting yet, but we will try it here. Um, I have it set at the default. Um, so anything above 6,000 RPM, it will engage full throttle shifting. And my foot has to be 80% on the throttle or more for full throttle shifting to work. So um, I'm gonna try to do a pull and I'm gonna try to do a shift at like 65 or 7,000 RPM and see what happens when I push in the clutch and keep the f my f uh, foot to the floor. So I assume it'll just keep the RPM the same and it won't bounce rev limiter. So let's give it a shot. All right, so let's give this a try. I got the GoPro on now. Um, I'm not gonna be able to see if you can see the tachometer or not until I go to edit this video. So right now we're gonna put it back in second. We'll try the full throttle or uh, full throttle shifting. a rev limiter at the exact rpm you want to shift that it doesn't go all the way to red line like it used to do before that is interesting i didn't expect it to bounce like a red line i thought it would just stay constant kind of but it actually bounces like it's your red line right where you ship of course i had traction control on for that so the light kept blinking and it was freaking out when i was doing those shifts so um we'll give it another try with traction control off and then I put my foot to the floor and left it to the floor and shifted to third and it just dropped right back. All right, so I'm gonna take the camera off my head. I'm gonna hold it here so you can see better the no lift shifting. You get a better view of the tachometer. So my foot was to the floor on all those shifts. You can actually shift pretty quick, but like I said before, I'm not sure if it's gonna help your time at all or help your acceleration. That's still up for debate.